I had gone, uh, I'd gone to practice that day. You know, they had, uh, they always have practice, uh, the practice. Uh, uh, they go up there and, and, and you're going to arrive at this moment, you're arriving at that moment, you're doing this, you're doing that. And would you mind coming up and then accepting it this way? Maybe if, if you win. Okay, fine. So uh, I've been there and Jerry Lewis said to me, he said, you know, you're going to win this thing. I said, nah, is are you kidding? So I bet, I bet you a buck 98. <laughs> Working with Jerry, it was fun, you know? So I said, I got you, you've got to bet. So I went home and I took a red sock of my little daughter's red sock and filled it up with 198 pennies. <laughs> I put it in my pocket just for the kicks, you know? Well, I was looking out over the the audience as Grace Kelly had called out my name. And I had been looking out over the audience saying, Jesus, nice, nice people, you know. And my wife is going, they called your name. They called your name. I said, what, what? Oh, oh, oh. I had no idea I was ever going to win, really. I had nothing to say. I had so I went up there, and, I, and suddenly I remembered the Red Sock, and Jerry Lewis was at the thing there to help me up on the stage, you know. And I handed him the Red Sock. <laughs> I said, okay, you win. And I walked up and got my Oscar. And it was the funniest thing ever, you know, because he <laughs> said, I kept the pennies and spent the sock. <laughs> I suddenly had a, a, a publicity man, a general manager, a, a manager, a, a personal manager, I had a, 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 an accountant. Uh, I had an old, I had an old Cadillac that was, um, I, I just bought an old Cadillac secondhand, you know. I had to get rid of it. Oh, gotta get rid of the Cadillac. Well, what, what, you got? this is perfectly good car. No, 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 you gotta get a new one. Well, the new one I got, and the rain storm, the front windshield fell out. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, suddenly everything changed, including my then wife, bless her heart. We'd been through everything, you know, and when I won the award, she put on the dark glasses and suddenly it was Mrs. Borgnine has to go to the, you know, the, the, the hairdressers. Mrs. Borgnine is coming and, you know, it was one of those things. And it got to the point where uh, you just, I don't know. It it, it 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 was a good thing, and I still revere it. I still think it's wonderful. It's a it's something that my peers gave me uh, for my work, and I'll never forget that. I also have over on the side there the British Film Academy Award, uh, which was given to me at the same time. I have the the Golden Globe. I have any number of things, you know, but. Uh, still, uh, there's that thing of saying, well, could it have been nicer? Could it have been, I don't know, something or other that, uh, I, I didn't want fanfare, I, didn't, I don't like fanfare that much, but I think that um, uh, the life didn't become any better. It became a little bit more, uh, people were trying to take advantage of you too. Uh, they put me under contract, and it cost me a half a million dollars to get out of that contract finally. Mm -hmm. But it was it was terrible, and uh, uh, well, you know that's the vagaries of winning and losing.